Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 2 of System Center Data Protection Manager tutorial and in the first part we have done the installation for System Center Data Protection Manager 2019 step by step so so if you want to see how to install and configure data protection manager you can see watch the part 1 and in this video basically part 2 we are going to have a uh, see how to how to back up Hyper-V virtual machine by using System Center Data Protection Manager. So as we discussed, like uh, System Center Data Protection Manager can can uh, back up the uh, virtual machine which might be running on virtual uh, Hyper-V or VMware. Also, it can back up a uh, physical machines or Azure VMs. So in this video, we are going to focus on the uh, backup of the Hyper-V virtual machine so let's have a demo environment so this is my demo environment i have three virtual machines here running in my infrastructure so the first machine is active directory and dns server you can see the name of the active directory server win 2 k 19 dc01 this is my domain controller and my domain name is labshandson.com and this is having 4 gig of memory or 4, C, or 4 vcpu and 6 gig of memory so this is my domain controller you can see active directory and dns is running on this machine and this is my uh, domain name labsandson.com so this is my domain control and the second machine I have uh, my SCDPM server which is uh, basically data protection manager server 2019 so I have installed the data protection manager in part 1 so so this machine having uh, uh, already joined in my domain and already installed and configured data protection manager so window k19 dpm so if I go here you can see this is my uh, DPM server into K19 DPM and on this on the desktop I have a, a shell a PowerShell management for DPM and the console so I'm going to launch the console so this is a freshly installed DPM we have not done any configuration or anything on uh, like uh, related to protecting virtual machine or protecting any any workload which is running on on premises so you can see protection uh, protection server we don't have any protected or unprotected server so this is a kind of brand new inf infrastructure for the dpm and our last uh, server is our hyper-v server which is win2k19 hv01 so you can see this is also joined in my domain and this having four vcpus and 32 gig of memory so this is my hyper-v server you can see the hyper-v role is installed and win2k19 hv01 so if i go to hyper-v uh, manager you can see i having one virtual machine running on this ma uh, this hyper v host which is win2k 19 vm01 this machine is also joined in my domain so if i go here and show you so this machine is also joined in my domain so this is the infrastructure which we have in this video so now uh, let's create a protection group uh, and back up the virtual machine which is running on this hyper hyper v hv01 so for uh, to back up the virtual machine first thing you need to go on your uh, dpm server and you need to click on management and here you need to make sure where you want to back up like like you must need at least one disk where you are going to uh, back up your uh, virtual machines or workload maybe sql server any other workload you need to make sure you have a one local disk and also you can attach uh, or online like a Microsoft Azure recovery service point or the tape library as per your requirement so I have the disk ready which is around 300 gig drive so go to protection server and when you click on add it will ask you Windows server or a VMware server so you can also connect VMware servers uh, to protect a uh, VMware VM so we are going to see this in upcoming video so my focus is going to be a Windows server which is Hyper-V basically so install agent to protect Windows server so click next and now I'm going to click here because I need to install the agent so uh, it's required some uh, some kind of firewall uh, should be allowed so generally in domain infrastructure in organization the firewalls are uh, disabled for the uh, internal internal uh, domain network so uh, if if it's not enabled and you are getting any error message related to like you are not be able to reach your Hyper-V host or the f uh, workload or the server then recommended to go and check your firewall so I have disabled my firewall so click next 
and now you will see all the servers which is available in your domain infrastructure so what I'm going to do I'm just going to type a name so win2k19 hv you can see here I got the name so if I search you can see this server is when you click enter the server is automatically going to add so this is the server what we are going to product, uh, protect and click next and now you need to provide the dome uh, 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 basically a, a user account detail which will have a uh, domain account which will have an administrator right or computer which you wish to install agent so make sure you have you have a uh, admin account already uh, ad admin rights on the server which you want to protect and generally in your organization you should have one service account which is going to be uh, added in each server's uh, local admin so you will get the access to DPM will get access to all the, ser all the uh, servers which you want to protect so click next and now uh, this is this is going to ask you if uh, if you wish to uh, restart uh, DPM is automatically going to restart or not so generally it does not require a, re a reboot if you are running a uh, uh, like a legacy operating system that might be to require a reboot but uh, here uh, I am using uh, Windows Server 2019 so it does not require a reboot for 2019 so I am going to just uh, mark this if required reboot click next and then start uh, install pro uh, production agent on this machine so click on so before we go ahead and install I will go and show you if you go to program and features you will see we don't have any uh, a DPM agent installed so when I'm going to click on install button the progress is start and it will install the uh, basically you can say you can close this and uh, this process now will uh, start the installation for DPM so now you can see the DPM agent coordinator is installed this is basically going to be uh, installed till the time DPM agent is not installed once the DPM agent is installed this will be removed so you can see 67 percent completed so we got the DPM agent now you can see Microsoft Data Protection Manager is now installed and size is 276 MB uh, MBs and now installing 98% so once this is finished uh, this coordinator will be removed so just wait for a few more seconds to get the installation completed so now till the time you you don't protect this uh, 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 machine by using the uh, creating the protection group you will see this uh, machine under the unprotected so you can see unprotected count is one since this machine is not yet protected so it's going to take few more seconds I guess so now you can see the status agent it's a status is ok so it means the agent has been installed now if I refresh this you will see the coordinator uh, uh, is now removed and we have Microsoft System Center DPM protection agent is installed on this machine so this is good so now to protect the virtual machines on uh, uh, which is running on this Hyper-V host we need to go to protection and then we need to create a protection group so I'm going to create a protection group here first so welcome to the protection group wizard so click next and now what you want to protect so we are going to protect the servers so click next and then we can see um, HV01 is listed here so this is going to be some kind of error so we can okay so it's it's asking about the the volume which which is basically um, OS volume we can see here if I go this is talking about this uh, di these two tests so which we can basically ignore so now you can see once I uh, we click on OK you will see here all the drives like in this machine we have only C drive so C drive is now listed so that's fine so now I'm going on a Hyper-V and basically I'm going to uh, uh, protect whole this uh, Hyper-V host configuration which which going to be a system com a host component also and then we are going to 
uh, uh, back up this virtual machine also so now I'm going to click next and now you need to type the protection group name so I'm going to call it Win2K19 uh, HV01 backup and where you want to um, take the uh, basically it's going to uh, say you short time backup where you want to install and if you have registered for the like uh, uh, Microsoft Azure you can save there also and you can save on tape also so I'm I'm having only disk local disk so I'm going to store in disk so click next and then a retention policy you can define the retention policy so I'm going to define the deten retention policies for let's uh, say for the 10 days maybe we can set 10 days and then when you want to uh, run the backup so if you wish you can always modify this like you can run like you want to ignore on Sunday so you can ignore those so you can modify basically as per your requirement so this is going to be express full backups so click next and now it will ask you the uh, st uh, where you want to st uh, save the uh, backup so we have only one uh, local disk in this uh, this DPM server so you can see that if you have a multiple DPM local disk then definitely you can see all those so now I'm going to click on next so you can see the virtual machine is a uh, around 13 gig and the host component is like about only uh, 10 MB so we can go ahead and click next and uh, this is one of the most important thing where you want to uh, um, take the backup uh, place so so if if you are using a remote site like if you having a remote site and you want to sync data uh, through the through any removable media like like USB disk or anything then you can use those options also and if you want to directly uh, throw over the network so you can select the automatically over the network just click next and it will ask you about the consistency check so I'm going to run uh, leave the default one uh, I'm going to leave for default one for the demo just click next and this is the summary what we are going to take backup host component and one VM and this is going to be a short term retention 10 days recovery points and replica creation now so just go ahead and click create group and now this will create the group and also it will uh, transfer the backup so uh, since we have selected the transfer over the network so soon we will see the network uh, bandwidth utilization on DPM server as well as on our Hyper-V host so and you will see here the DPM is going to create basically one snapshot before running the backup so I'm just making sure we will see the traffic so now you can see everything is succeeded go ahead and close this and now you can see the replica uh, creation is in progress so soon we will see the uh, some data data coming to DPM server now you can see the host component is now came on ok status so host component is synced now you can see we have a receiving data approx 2 gig so, uh, 2 gbps means the data is now coming from the hyper-v host and you can verify same the hyper-v host is now sending the data here you can see data is being sent to the dpm host so this is good thing now if you go here you can see the DPM has created one snapshot here so which is which is uh, basically on which uh, snapshot the machine is getting backup so once the backup is completed by the DPM and and the date uh, and the backup is validated on the DPM side it's going to remove this um, checkpoint automatically so we need to wait for some time now you can see the uh, data transmission is finished so this is good and now, uh, now it's going to uh, wait for some time to um, verify the uh, backup wi which is backed up by the DPM server for the Hyper-V virtual machine and now you can see the status is ok and you can see the storage consume around uh, around 
39 gig so which is good and also you can ver verify the a checkpoint is now deleted so this is good so this is how you can create the back uh, backup of the virtual machines which is running on a hyper-v um, by using the data protection managers so in next video I'm going to show you how to restore this backup on a same on a same physical on the same hyper-v host and also you can how you can restore in any other hyper-v host so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.